Good morning YouTubians, it's Kim, it's Ghost. We're back again looking at the cult movie poster and today's a romantic comedy drama from 2003. Directed by Sofia Coppola, she also wrote and produced this film winning her the best original screenplay at the 76 Academy Awards. Filmed entirely on location in Japan with a budget of just $4 million and shot over just 27 days. It's got a runtime of 102 minutes. It is of course lost in translation. Let's pop this in the player and see what it's all about. So the film has a small cast. You have Bill Murray as Bob Harris, Scarlett Johansson as Charlotte, Giovanni Rabisi as John, as Charlotte's husband, Anna Faris as Kelly, Fumihiro Heihashi as Charlie, and Catherine Lambert as the lounge singer. So the film is quite a simple one. It focuses on two characters. You've got Bob Harris played by Bill Murray. He's a film star and he's coming towards the end of his career, starting to wind down. And he's in Japan on his own, filming a commercial for Japanese whiskey. He's also doing like photo shoots for the product as well. As I said, he's alone. His wife has decided to stay at home in America with the kids. It seems like their marriage is going through a bit of a rut as well. The other character is Charlotte played by uh, Johansson. And she's in Japan as well with her husband, John, who is a photographer for rock stars. And he's kept very busy during the day. And he leaves his wife a lot of the time at, at the, uh, the hotel in the room on her own. So both Bob and Charlotte are both in Japan alone for a lot of the time and bored. It turns out they're staying at the same hotel. So Charlotte explores the city by day on her own, whereas Bob tends to spend all his spare time either in his room alone or in the bar. And one night they both end up in the bar together and they spark up a conversation and get along quite well. The next night, Charlotte and her husband John are having a meal with his friends and John seems to be ignoring Charlotte a little bit, but she sees Bob across the room sat at the bar and she goes over and talks to him. The next day, Charlotte and Bob bump into each other at the swimming pool and they decide to go together that evening to a friend's party as Charlie's. So Charlie gets them kicked out of the club, but they all go back to a private party and they have a lot of fun. Bob and Charlotte are trying karaoke and after an extremely long night, Bob carries an exhausted Charlotte back to her hotel room, puts her safely in bed and then goes back to his own room and phones his wife. So I think he's feeling a little bit guilty that he's spending a lot of time with this young girl. The next day in a cafe, Charlotte shows Bob her injured toe, which he is mortified at and he takes her to the hospital to get a scene to. And while she's being treated, he goes and buys her a lovely gift. The next day she arranges to meet him at a strip joint and then they go on to another location and the evening after that he has a note delivered to her room inviting her to his room where they spend the night just watching films, drinking and talking about life and marriage and they fall asleep together on the bed as Bob is stroking her feet. On a phone call to his wife a few days later he tells her that he wants to start looking after himself and his body and to eat more healthily and she suggests as his wife that he stays in Japan. Now, She's quite unfriendly and he gets into a low mood, but he makes a big mistake. He goes to the, um, the bar, picks up the lounge singer and they sleep together. She's still there the next morning when Charlotte knocks on the door. And that is where I'm gonna leave the story. So did I enjoy Lost in Translation? Absolutely, this is one of, if not the best Bill Murray performances I've ever seen. Scarlett Johansson was just 17 years old when she did this. No audition needed. She just got the part. So adorable in this film and so talented. The development of relationships and the characters. This film is an absolute masterpiece. Shot beautifully. Both actors were on point. Japan is the perfect location given that fish out of water feel. I would give this film a solid 10 out of 10. Absolute perfection. 
So that is it. Do you agree with my score or not? Leave a comment down below. I will get back to you. I promise give the video a thumbs up. It really does help the channel. And subscribe if you haven't. It's all free. Why wouldn't you? And on that note, all that's left to say is thank you so much for choosing my channel today and watching my video. Take care and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.